Hi there! In previous videos we started to look at selection statements and we looked at if statements in particular and looking at comparing different uh, variables of integer or double data type. And so we looked at decision making and how we can make decisions using if statements and perform certain actions dependent on the result of a particular condition. In this video we're going to take a look at comparing strings, later we're going to look at nested if statements and then we're going to take a look at another type of selection statement, the switch statement. And we'll do some examples to go along with each of those, each centering around the theatre problem. So let's take a look at that problem and get started. You have been asked to develop an application that allows a theatre employee to enter a day of the week and then display the cost of a theatre ticket for that day. The tickets are priced as follows. Monday to Thursday tickets cost €10 Euro, and Friday to Sunday tickets cost €20. Euro. So as you can see here now, our if statement is going to involve comparing strings. So in past examples we only looked at comparing integers or doubles. Now we're going to have the user enter a day of the week and we're going to compare those strings to see if they match and then perform a certain action dependent on, on the condition. So let's take a look at how that example works out in TextPad. Okay, so here you'll see I've already opened a TextPad file and entitled the file theater1.java. So I've saved it as theater1.java, which means theater1 is going to be the name of my class. As usual, I start every class with a comment. My comment should include the name of my file the name of the author and the date when the file was written, so the 24th of October 2013. There are other things that can be included in this comment, but this is all that I'm going to put in here for now. We start our class, we're going to develop an application that accepts a value from the user, that value should be a day of the week. And then we're going to print out the cost of a theatre ticket dependent on that day. We could develop this application using instantiable classes, but in this instance, for the purposes of this example, I'm just going to use an app class. So for our app class and our input and our output, we're going to need to import javax.swing.joptionpane. Then we have our class header, public class theater1 and we have our main method header public static void main string args and we get started. Don't forget of course to close your curly brackets for both the class and the main method and if you think you're going to forget do so now and get it out of the way. The first thing we're going to do is declare any variables that we're going to need and the variables in this instance need to hold the day of the week so we'll need a string watch out uppercase s for string so string day and we're also going to need an integer or a double to hold the value of the money so because it's money we'll go with double double cost next thing we declare any objects that we might need and then we create any objects that we might need but in this instance we're not going to be using any objects we don't have any instantiable classes and we don't need to create an instance of joptionpane so we move on to our input to get our input from the user we're asking for day so day equals joptionpane.show input dialog null comma please enter the day of the week. Okay. Then we want to get do our process, which in this instance is also going to include our output. Okay, so dependent on the day of the week, we'll output a different cost. So when we start our if statement, we're going to check if the value stored in day that the user entered matches a particular day of the week. Now, typically when we're comparing two variables, we would use our two equal signs to test for equality. But strings work a little differently to doubles and integers. So in fact, what we need to use is the dot equals method. And what we do is we open up the brackets for dot equals and in quotation marks inside there, we put the name of the day that we want to check. So we're checking here if the day that the user entered matches Monday. And if it does, we're going to perform a particular action. 
that action is going to be to print out joptionpane.show message dialog null the cost is 5 euro okay and then we close our curly bracket now if you remember from our table earlier Monday is not the only day that costs 5 euro so it's 5 euro on Monday Tuesday Wednesday and Thursday so let's just get them all done in this one particular if statement if day dot equals Monday and then the symbol for or if you remember from previous examples is the two pipes or the two bars so we say or day dot equals in quotation marks Tuesday or day dot equals and in brackets and quotation marks Wednesday or day dot equals and in brackets and quotation marks Thursday okay so if all of these are true and don't forget to close a bracket at the very end to close your if statement round bracket okay for the condition I'll just get this all into the screen so that you can see so if day dot equals Monday Tuesday Wednesday or Thursday J option pane dot show message dialog the cost is five euro else if okay now you might ask why don't we just do else here it's entirely possible that the user might enter a day or a word that doesn't make sense for this application and we'll have to give them an error message in that instance so let's go with else if day dot equals Friday or day dot equals Saturday or day dot equals Sunday okay again not forgetting this bracket here because it's going to close the condition of your if statement open your curly bracket and within that then j option pane dot show message dialog the cost is 10 euro and close your curly bracket for that okay so we simply declare our variables one for day and one for cost in fact we didn't even need cost now as, as we look back because we're printing the cost straight to the user so we can take that out we read in the day from the user we compare that with the different days of the week and dependent on which day it is we print out the right message to the user okay so let's compile that control and one and it compiles okay and if we do control and two enter a day of the week Monday the cost is five euro great so we'll test it again let's try Saturday okay the cost is ten euro now supposing I entered let's do it again and Wednesday that's one that people typically would spell wrong okay Wednesday okay so supposing somebody thinks they answer, entered Wednesday but they've spelled it incorrectly I'm getting nothing so I have to go back and put in my else statement that's going to give my J option pane dot show message dialog that is not a valid day okay and then I close my curly bracket and if I compile that again and run it again and try now my Wednesday that is not a valid day okay equally though we might find that when the user runs the program they spell the day perfectly but they enter Monday without a capital M and we don't want to tell them then that it's not a valid day so there is another method that we can use known as dot equals ignore case I G N O or 
case. Okay, now I'm just going to apply it to Monday here. If we wanted it to apply to all days, we would have to change all of our dot equals to be dot equals ignore case. But if we compile this again and run it, you'll see now if I enter Monday, the cost is five euro. Okay, so it doesn't require me to have a lower case or an uppercase M for Monday. There are other methods available in the string class like equals, equals ignore case and then there are some other methods where we can convert whatever the user entered to lower case and you could apply those either but you can take a look at those yourself. This is just an example of how we can say equals ignore case which means take whatever they've entered and ignore whether they've used uppercase or lowercase and compare it to what's in day. Okay. Also, you might find the idea of entering the entire word Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday might not be suitable. You might go for Mon, choose Wednesday, and you just have to accommodate that in your if statement and you'll just put in more OR operators and lengthen out the, the conditions in the if statements. But that's all just stuff to play around with. Basically, that's how we compare strings in an if statement and that's the way that you need to do it if you're going to have um, one or more strings to with conditions dependent on them. Next we're going to take a look at nested if statements and what happens when we've got one if statement right within another. So let's take a look at the next problem.